we're asking the students to break into a network cable, splice into it, wiretap it, and then there's an encrypted message within there that they then have to decipher using uh, stuff like Python. So what we've done today is we've brought together a group of young people and an interesting selection of very different industries. Just behind me we've got Raytheon, they're a defence company. We've got Symantec showing what can happen with a weak password and BT who've brought some of their apprentices. And we're all here to inspire students to consider a career in cyber security. The idea here is you've got two computers, two Raspberry Pis, they're sending email traffic between two terrorists. The yeah? challenge for you guys today is to cut into this cable, yeah? attach a wiretap, so it looks like this, capture the traffic, and then you've got to try and find the guy's email address and password. Here's the white tap. So now we move over onto this side. Yeah. Close that off. And close and it off and comma. comma. And open up the quote again. And we're going to write the binary, so WB. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it sounds very technical to say cybersecurity. It sounds like it's it's very much about computers, but just as much as it's about technology, it's also about people and about processes. The National Cybercrime Unit, there's a huge variety of roles, so you don't necessarily have to come from a technical background. So everyone's got the potential, you see, to work in this area. You need new blood, you need people with new innovative ideas. As the criminals develop one technique, those working in security have to develop another, measure and countermeasure. This task is overhearing a conversation on the internet and then using the information we find out from that to log into someone's account. You're looking for the things that say message, because when there's message you'll see stuff down here. Yeah. So we're just finding out how vulnerable our passwords are and how we should keep them secure. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely interesting. We need more young people, we've got a desperate shortage of skills. The upside of that is it's, it's a, it's a well-paid profession because of that, because we're short of people. And just to get people out there, get them interested, get them thinking about whether they might have a career in cyber security. So the students here are going to build a fully functioning Enigma machine from a Pringles tube, turning that into that. There's an input letter, the wire travels along, comes out of an output letter, carries on travelling along, and then they rotate around. It's really easy to understand how to become an accountant or a doctor or a vet or whatever um, because there are clear pathways in existence. We don't have those pathways in existence for cyber security so we're looking to achieve that and make it easier for young people, for parents, for teachers to understand those pathways. Hannah's written us a key and a secret code and basically our job is to try and crack the code um, using the Enigma machine. J Z what we hope happens is that the young people understand how they could very much belong in these industries. If they enjoy, say, computer games, or perhaps they think differently, or they're very creative, then this is the industry for them. It's been really great. I've enjoyed it so much. I think it's been so super. It's opened my eyes on really the job opportunities. Talking to the people that actually work in those jobs and them telling you that yeah this is what we do on an everyday basis, that's been quite exciting. Yeah.